Hello and welcome to another edition of uh, TV30. I am your host today, Kendall Eugene, and with me I have two very special guests, Mr. Urban Dola, who is no stranger to our set, and Mr. Bertram Leo. He is the secretary of the Grosley Reunion. We will be discussing and finding a little bit more information about the Grosley Reunion for 2024. Gentlemen, welcome to the program. Thank you very much for Thank having you. us. Okay, now anybody can pick and choose whichever one they want to answer. Mm -hmm. I think the burning question would be, what exactly is the Grosley Reunion all about? Okay, the Grosley Reunion was first stage over 32 years ago by many members who had left Grosley, gone to the various different metropolis for better opportunities, but had always have Grosley back in their minds to probably help develop you know uh, and be part of the community so we are in effect returning back 32 years hence and it's important for me to probably outline that many of the pioneers who had done the original Grosley reunion to an, um, Grosley reunion mm -hmm. um, have virtually passed away so many of the people who are actually orchestrating the Grosley reunion this this time around in 2024 are the children of those former pioneers so it's it's very much a, a memorial for them in terms of them being able to set the path for many of us to have followed mm -hmm. um, so it's important that I make reference to that as well but the Grosley reunion is very much trying to bring hearts together you know helping in terms of community development um, and engagement and also trying to create a better community. Mm -hmm. um, it's also part of us, especially the overseers of the diaspora, which we will probably call it, wanting to give back to our community, but also to help the community on the ground here, because the Grocery Reunion, it's a family. It's a family reunion. It's mm -hmm. not just a reunion, it's families meeting families. That we're also looking at people who haven't seen each other for, for several decades yes. coming back. So. That, in effect, is a unique opportunity in itself. Um, it's really retracing some of the old things that we used to do. You know, it's also trying to see how we could engage and help in the continued development of our community. So mm -hmm. that's part and parcel of what the Grosley Reunion is all about. By all means, we'll be having a good time because mm -hmm. we can't come all this way. Some of us flying thousands of miles away. We'll be having people from the US, from the UK, from the from Canada, mm -hmm. from parts of the Caribbean, and also parts of Europe, who will be coming to you know to interact and engage with us. So that's really what the Grosley Reunion is all about. It's about meeting of hearts. It's about giving back to our community, but it's also seeing how we can support and assist our community as well. Excellent, Mr. Of course, of course, in addition to that, we are also attempting to make a link between the pioneers. And, and the younger generation. Mm -hmm. So for example, one of our activities would be Listo Agozile, which essentially would allow not only the current generation, people who are the younger than, you know, the, in the, maybe the 20s and the 30s, to know some of the things that happened in, in Gozile and in which Gozile was involved before they, before they you know, were conscious. Mm -hmm. um, and in addition to Listo Agozile, we also have an activity on on the beach um, where we will in fact be engaging in some of the old time activities um so for example mr eugene you may well recall um uh, you you may well recall the activities that used to happen at so square mm -hmm. you know things like um greasy pole yeah um and 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 in Gozile we had a, a very vibrant tradition where on the 13th of december and other such days we would have sort of sports mm -hmm. but but you know but these were not regular sports so we would have things like lime and spoon needle and thread right uh, do you want me to explain what these are or you know what these well are? i know what it is but you have some people that may not know yeah right when so they have needle and thread for example i know of, of, uh, a few right. may know lime and spoon but needle and thread might have somebody looking at our program and say needle and thread yeah well what it was what it is is that um you you have a, a needle mm -hmm. and, a, and a piece of thread and you try to put the needle in the, well, the thread into the needle mm -hmm. and run to the other point. 
Now, you know, so of course people use different techniques and so on, but we're not going to go into <laughs> it. Um, we also had, we also will be having things like um, um, a kachin, a mm -hmm. throwing, right? And, 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 and so you basically, so you have an egg, each person is very close. Up. As you go further and further, yeah. then it becomes more difficult for you to actually catch the, catch the egg. And you know, quite a lot of people literally had egg on their face. But when they try to catch it, it mm -hmm. would be... Um, so these traditional it, games will be making... Um, yeah, there, as a matter of fact, uh, we also have another night. We have a night where we will have games night. Mm -hmm. And that night, we have a special contingent fr from the research f um, folk research center who will actually be coming to um to present on wari so which uh -huh. is very very traditional yeah i mean our other traditional things like dominoes and drafts and sticks and ladders and mm -hmm. so on we're going to bring in we will be bringing all of these things back mm -hmm. as opposed to what most people know now in video games yeah yeah well i can attest that when i'm a big video gamer myself yeah <laughs> i know <laughs> <laughs> but the wari especially has piqued my interest because that is a game that for me i would love to learn but it looks so complicated and then all the players will tell you when you get to understand it you'll see how easy it is yes as with mm -hmm. most other things once you mm -hmm. understand it it's it's, uh, it's easy mm -hmm. um but but there's also in wari a lot of strategy incidentally there's a very um, vibrant Wari community in Antigua mm -hmm. where they actually have um, competitions and so on. So whereas we may have competition in, in chess or in... The or in well, they like also that. have um, bridge, but they have a, a, Wari, a vibrant Wari um, competition in, in, um, in Antigua. So who knows, we might be able to fill a team against them. I wouldn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind. So the, the, the we've gotten the inspiration behind... Uh, um, the organization of the Grozilly Reunion. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think that will mean for the community, though? I think, uh, I mean, the interest, once uh, we had actually staged the, or we had actually announced that the reunion was going to take place, the, the interest has been phenomenal, both mm -hmm. not only abroad, um, where Grozilians uh, uh, reside, but also in the community itself. I have seen the many postings um, that has you know, that has been going on, and some of the some of the comments has been, you know, extremely encouraging. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've got a number of pictorial stuff going on on our social media page, and um, some of the photos and um, and mementos and the various different um, activities that are actually being portrayed there has been pretty significant. So you know, uh, on the ground in Saint Lucia. Mm -hmm. Well, in the ground in Grozilla in particular, the interest has been pretty phenomenal from what I could see. I'm just hoping it transcends itself to the level of support. Mm -hmm. If that reflects the level of support that would take place over the 10 days of activity, I mean, we start from the 19th of, of July to the 28th of July, and I will actually outline some of the activities that yes. we'll be doing um, in, in, in the course and explaining some of the activities and what it would mean. Mm -hmm. But if the community comes out and support based on the feedback we are actually seeing on our social media page, then I think it will be a, not only a historical renaissance of what actually happened, but it will be pretty significant in terms of how community engagement and empowerment can actually take place. And that perhaps could be a blueprint for other communities mm -hmm. to actually be able to follow. Excellent. Now, I, I heard about the reunion before. Yeah. I think they were, they, were try, they were trying to plan it. Um, in 2020, in 2020 yeah. yeah. But unfortunately, COVID hit and many activities, as you know, worldwide had to be postponed because yes. people couldn't travel, etc. But, you know, the, um, the enthusiasm of both our committee, which are representative both within the local community and mm -hmm. also abroad. I mean, we were meeting every single month for the last 18 months mm -hmm. planning this activity. So the interest on both sides has been pretty um, significant and has remained very strong up to now. So now we've got the last few days of putting together the final activities, the final plan, the final agenda. I am really so sort of like heartened and encouraged that it will be a pretty good and significant event. Excellent. Yeah. Now, the community clearly have responded very, very yeah, well yeah. to the rescheduling of the uh, reunion. Yes. Let's yeah. get into the activities. Yeah. Okay. And, and chat a little bit about them. What can we expect this year? Well, we have 10 days of what we would say is a combination of enjoyment, 
community activities, supporting our communities, and also engaging, families engaging with each other. Mm -hmm. um, for example, on the 19th, we kick off on the 19th with a reception, which is actually being hosted and supported by the St. Lucia Tourism Authority. Um, they're supporting us on that. We've also had support also by the um, Ambassador for Diaspora Affairs in the U in here. Mm -hmm. um, and the community itself is also supporting it as well. Um, so that's going to kick off our launch of the Grosley Arena in 2024. Mm -hmm. um, following that, we will be engaging with our community objectives, which is giving hampers to some of the needy within our community. Again, looking at our social consciousness, things that we think you know, we needed to do to engage with, with our brothers and sisters on the island. Um, Again, part of we cannot come here and not have entertainment. Mm -hmm. So people have made a request to make sure we give them a country and western you know, activity. So that's going to be taking place on um, Saturday, <laughs> the 20th of July. Mm -hmm. um, and on the Sunday, obviously, everyone has to go to church and mm -hmm. pray to God. So we're going to have a church service on the, on the, on the Sunday mm -hmm. at 7.30 a.m. at the Groselay St. Joseph the Worker Catholic Church. Everyone is invited. There is no exclusion of any denomination. We're all, in, we're all, in, it's an inclusive. Everyone is included to actually come and celebrate with mm -hmm. us because as we, one of the key focus is actually joining our community together. Um, you know, following that, we will have a luncheon, um, which is a ticketed event. So anyone who wants to attend can mm -hmm. actually purchase tickets to, to attend the luncheon straight after the church service. Um, then we will have an interesting following up from the, the while we are the very different we'll have an interesting activity called the northern tour now normally when people come here they probably want to have around the island tour but yes. we thought it was significant for us to be because it's a grosily reunion to have a northern tour to explore some of the key areas some of the key sites some of the historical areas that may probably may, i don't probably know and i'm supposed to have been someone born in Grosile mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I probably know as far as Pigeon Point, but what do I know in the various different areas? So I mean, right. it'll give us an opportunity to explore some of our historical sites, some of our slavery sites, you know, so that not only myself, but also my children, because my children will be coming to mm -hmm. actually see, to be able to understand some of the, where did, you know, his forefathers come, come from, from and, yeah. and, the, and the historical connection that there is with not only slavery, but also the development of the country. Even when we look at Pigeon, we call it Pigeon Point. Pigeon Point. Mm -hmm. During my time, it was Pigeon Island because it was surrounded by water. Okay. Nothing How many yet. people actually remember these things? Mm -hmm. And I think it's really bringing back those kind of historical significance aspect of things that will actually encompass and embrace us in terms of the history of Grosile was not what you see today, mm -hmm. but there was a history for far, far beyond that. Yes, um, yes, yes. You know, then we also have you know, um, a health fair. Mm -hmm. um, again, we are very conscious about how health is being, um, perhaps not necessarily taken as seriously as it is, but you know, we're having various different health aspects that is actually intertwined in the country. For example, prostate issues mm -hmm. are beginning to increase breast cancer issues being treated and diabetes and uh, so, um, from what the, the information I've actually read etc that diabetes is what is one of the biggest yeah. um, disease and killers yeah. on the island mm -hmm. uh, so and we've got yeah. so and there are various different other health um, aspects there is a station that will be having several different stations and be a walk-in center people can come and you know check their health see how they can you know live in terms of better living standard etc and that will probably be able to help the mm -hmm. community so like i said it's like we said it's not all about fun and games but it's also looking at serious aspects yes, of, a teaching, of, of, moment of, as well teaching a lot of people as well you okay. know um, all right well with that um we'll take a quick break and uh, when we get back we'll chat a little bit more yeah. about the reunion i'm very excited to hear especially the, the tour that you mentioned yeah and just hearing you speak of um, pigeon island being surrounded by just water and no yeah. calls we joined yeah. that's yeah. what you remember yeah and now we have a call for your children might not even understand that yeah. that you that was not there before yeah something i believe that is very important and um, most uh, incredible with our reunion for 2024 but there is a lot more than yes that. oh god indeed indeed, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> okay so we'll come back with some more we have mr leo here with us and mr dolo as well this is tv 30 a production of the government information service and ntn we'll be back
What's in the food you're eating? Do you really even know? All the chemicals and hormones used to accelerate their growth. All the artificial flavoring, sweeteners and colors too. We consume and we don't spare a thought for the damage that they'll do. The that no, they do. think about the children. Think about the children. How will we save them? Chemicals and GMOs are not the solution. Use organic and join. Excessive agrochemical use, additives, and genetically modified foods are harmful to health and the environment. Join the good food revolution. Grow, buy, and consume organic. A message from Rice St. Lucia and the Ministry of Sustainable Development with funding from the GEF Small Grants Program, UNDP. The good food revolution. Welcome back to TV30, a production of the Government Information Service and NTN. I am your host, Kendall Eugene, and with me today, Mr. Urban Dollar and Mr. Bertram Leo. Mr. Leo is the secretary for the Grozile Reunion 2024. And uh, just before the break, we will delve into a few of the activities that will be taking place for the reunion. One of my favorites already is understanding how to play the game Wari, but um, mm -hmm. hearing about the uh, historical aspect of it all. Yeah. That is the town of Grosley, and getting to understand a little bit more about a place that I normally frequent, especially on a Friday night, yes. but understanding there's a massive historical background there. Yes. You said slavery, yes. and I don't even think a lot of St. Lucians would attribute slavery to the town of Grosley. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. In, in fact, I, as, as you just mentioned slavery, I remember my great-great-grandmother. Um, she was a she had actually escaped the slave ship, and I remember her giving me the story because I, I, I remember there was some time ago that um, the TV station was going around interviewing people of a certain age mm -hmm. so that they could encapsulate the history of St. Lucia because, they, because St. Lucia's history was not quite known. And a lot of these older generation came from the slave ships. Mm -hmm. And I remember her name was, I remember her very well, her name was Mapopo. She was about 102 when she died. And I could remember sitting down reciting her history of how her parents, um, you know, escaped the slave masters when they actually landed here, you know. Mm -hmm. So this was again something that resonate with me and, and sticks in my mind. But again, going back from that tour which I said to you, which was going to look at that, there is also something equally as significant because we're going to be having an event called L'Histoire Gozile. And L'Histoire Gozile is actually going to, again, add to this dramatization of our culture, our heritage, where we came from, what we had, and it will probably be some of the key figures within our community will be able to recite some of this information. And I know this has already, you know, you know, resonate with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Even some of the people that was mm -hmm. here saying they actually want to come to this event because they could see the significance of yep. that. So again, we could see where we're going. It's it's not. It's an extravagant event that we are planning, and I think maybe time is not it, time is probably against us, but. If we could achieve 20% or 30% of what we'd have, I would have thought we'd have made a significant milestone in terms of achievement. Mm -hmm. just be, but just before you continue on to the other activities, I just wanted to um, bring about another very important bit of history that unfortunately we're losing. Um, and, and it is that in Grosley area, there was an actually a naval base. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. uh, so although many people are familiar with some of the infrastructure in, in Viewfort. A similar thing happen is in, is in Gozile as well. For example, where you have the ramp, if you notice there, that's a that's serious concrete similar to what goes on in Viewfort. Yes. Um, there was a time when there were actually two pillars to show that you were actually entering a naval base. And that was after you left Volnitz gas station and you went straight across, there was that there. Yeah. And so that's, that, that's kind of stretch we have. Right, we, we, I forget what they call it. They probably call it the strip now. The strip, yeah. It was actually an it was actually oh, an airstrip. strip. Airport base, yeah. yeah. So, is, so, so that's the, so the entire road be strip. That yeah. strip. When you had yeah. a strip, when you talk about the strip, right? Yeah. That was actually a strip for an oh. airport. Oh, yes. Right. So although many people don't make their relationship, there is that relationship. So mm -hmm. all of that mm -hmm. will be coming out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And pictures do exist. Easily. 
that um, to, to that effect about. as well. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Now, with um, the cultural highlights that we're going to experience, what else can we look forward to um, during the um, reunion? Um, there's a lot of different things you'll be, I mean, for example, first thing you're going to, we'll probably be meeting people you haven't seen for decades. I mean, I know about two persons. The last time I saw them, I was six years old. That was when I first left here. Mm -hmm. And I'm now, I won't say my age. <laughs> 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 you know, but um, I mean, these are the kind of interaction you're going to have. Mm -hmm. a lot, you know, a lot of the reunion will be part of the interaction you're going to have with people. But equally, we'll be doing things for the community. Yes. You know, we'll be sponsoring a soup kitchen for those people who, who, who are least able within us to be able to afford things. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we'll be doing a hamper distribution for people that are less fortunate to, that, that, than us. Um, you know, we will be doing, but a project which I have been particularly interested in doing is trying to retain our cultural heritage. And I'll be, in, you know, with the support of some of my colleagues, embarking on a street signage project where we're going to not only have the English equivalent of the street, but also having the Creole equivalent mm -hmm. of that street. So, and, and, and it was based on me going to various different countries, and I'm saying, I've gone to, you know, the Arab states, and I'm saying there is an English name for that, but there's always an Arab name. Mm -hmm. So, and I thought, mm -hmm. well, why have we not got our, why don't we preserve our own cultural heritage? We know we are Creole, mm -hmm. so why don't we have our streets in Creole language? It might be in English by our form of slave masters, yeah. but I think it's now for us to begin to have our own identity and have our own Creole language so that tourism come, they could be able to speak our language and understand it. It we wasn't an English. We are really uh, fascinated by the language yeah, already. And I think that's, that's, that's an important area as well. So I quite agree. You know. <laughs> I quite agree. And I never even thought of that um, until you mentioned, like, yeah, that's when we go overseas, we actually see it in Canada, yes, especially if you yeah. go to the French part, you yes. see the French and the English yes, as well. Yeah. So, yeah. In, in addition to that, um, as we, because th that is one of the projects that will actually be continued. Mm -hmm. So it's not, it doesn't end after the week or the 10 days. It's actually a plan to continue it. Mm -hmm. Not only to add more suites, but hopefully we will also begin to have some sort of, um, some sort of repository mm -hmm. where, for example, we can actually put information related to the name of the street. So why is the street named Notre Dame? Mm -hmm. Why is it named Dauphin? There is history behind that. Yeah. Why is it called Church Street? Mm -hmm. I mean, that this, 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 some of them are fairly, sim are fairly easy, but there is a lot of history in the names of the streets that up till now we have not been able to expand on or to, or to circulate because people just see the name of the street and, and that's it. And but, that's it. But in future, you know, we can have one of these um, QR codes on the, on the street sign. Yeah. And then when you scan that, you go to a, a site where it will give you a history of the, of the new the street. So, we, so we, we, we intend to be high tech. So, Mr. Dolo, now beyond um, all the celebrations that's going to happen, um, how does uh, the Grizzly Reunion 2024 continue to contribute to the legacy and the development of the Grizzly community? You mentioned um, about the street fans, but what else is there uh, moving one forward? Of the, one, of the, one of the things that um, such, uh, such events can, can do is as you say the correct word. I, I mean, I like that word legacy, and it is not un, it is not very different from, for example, what happened after the World Cup cricket, where you had certain mechanisms and structures that you put in place that you can continue now to use. So, for example, we have now established a structure where we can get barrels. We will be bringing, we have brought in barrels with stuff for um, the hampers uh, uh, and so on. These are some of the things we can continue to do. Mm -hmm. Because one of, the, one of the problems we have is that we don't always look at sustainability. We, uh, we, we, ha we like event rather than journeys, mm -hmm. right? And so I believe that one, uh, you know, and you write, like I said, you use the, the, the correct word, that we can use some of the structures that we are that we're put into place to ensure that we have similar activities and these activities for example them in the streets the soup kitchen the the hampers the mm -hmm. the pampers those kinds of things that we that we are going to be doing for the reunion can be continued and sustained over time okay 
if the, you know, how can individuals participate well, I think, in the read? I think we've actually said a lot, and um, to probably summarize or to enable people to find information, we've actually got a social media page, we've got a Facebook page, where all the information that, we, that you will need mm -hmm. to, uh, to know exactly what's taking place, at what stage, when, um, can actually be found on our Facebook page. Um, Grosley Reunion 2024 mm -hmm. and there is a wealth of information there's a wealth of activities taking place there there's a lot of contribution being made by not only people from overseas but also people from here and I've been so encouraged by you know the people on the ground actually mm -hmm. participating mm -hmm. in that so the information is already there just simply go onto our our, our upper page you'll get all the information you we're actually discussing here mm -hmm. and perhaps you may you know, members may actually want to contribute to some of the things that we're doing. Yes. And I think that will be, that, that will be perhaps how the legacy will continue. The legacy is that started, to, well, we're starting on the 19th, mm -hmm. and we hope it, 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 it will generate itself into something which got a link and got legs and will continue beyond, beyond the, the, the 10 days, beyond the 28th of July. Is it only open uh, for the, for the Grosley community or everybody? Is everybody. Open? Everybody. Every, everyone and just and because it's open to everybody i would just want to identify some of the activities that we have mm -hmm. some that are that are would are they intend to help us get funding so for example we have a luncheon we're not a well luncheon mm -hmm. on um the sun on sunday yeah and mm -hmm. then we have a, a gala dinner and yeah. dance on the friday that's the 27th visit or 28th 20, yeah 27 um, and the, uh, the other thing that we, that we want to do, and we should be very spectacular for those people like you who come up to Grizzly Nights on a Friday. Mm -hmm. On Friday, we also have a parade um, where we actually are going to have people from the various points on the, in the diaspora coming there uh, representing with their flag. So the people, you know, like Butchum will come with his British flag. Uh, 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 <laughs> English? Is it? English and Lucian. <laughs> well, okay, when I said the English part, you put the bits and the Once you have shop with a Tottenham flag, I mean, you know, you know, <laughs> Yeah, but so, so that we, so, so, so essentially, um, we want to give a spectacle of the various places mm -hmm. that, are, you know, as part of the diaspora and part of, of where we're coming from and getting to coming together in Grizzly. So Friday night will be a big night, um, not only the reception, but after the reception, with that parade. Excellent. So we're continuing the parade theme. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. Well, gentlemen, I want to say a big thank you for um, joining me on the program this afternoon. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the uh, reunion, the 2024, Grizzly Reunion 2024. It has been a pleasure having these two gentlemen here, Mr. Leo and Mr. Dolo. And folks, you can be a part of the reunion as well. Make sure you visit the uh, social media pages to find out some more information. This has been TV30. I'm your host, Kendall Eugene production of the Government Information Service and the National Television Network. Have a safe day. Bye-bye.